Hello everyone, this is Hoda Genji and in this video we're going to talk about customized tessellation. So let's open. Uh, first I'm going to create one unit here and then I'm going to um, rotate that so it's going to create one row and then I'm going to copy that to create more rows here, right? So uh, how about we go with uh, NURBS curve? So I want to go to my geometry under curves we had the option nerves curve before I'm gonna use that maybe by points this looks good or maybe this one I don't need the degrees in this case I'll go with by points and I'm gonna create a list of points a few of them uh, and because they're gonna be more than one we need to create a list with a few options. Each point goes to one of the items on the list and finally they are going to be connected to the nerves. So this is going to be the first point. Let's say I want to have one, two, three, four, five, five points maybe. So I'm going to have five items here. The second point, uh, I want to bring a code block. I want to change the um, X or maybe Y value to point 125, kind of a small number that goes to my Y. Okay, and for the Z, I want to go with 0.25. So the Z is almost double than Y. Okay, so this is my second point. For the next point, Let's see, I want to go with this number doubled. So this is A times 2, which means whatever number I have there, I want to double it and assign it to my Z. And uh, I want to do the same thing. So A times 2 for the other one. That means whatever number I have for the Y, I want it to be doubled and this can go to my Y. Let's see how it works. How about I assign uh, just a number to this code block? So let's make that a smaller number and I want to put like 0.25 here. That goes to my Y. Okay, now it's getting better. This is going to be my third point. For my fourth point, the Z is going to be different, so whatever number I have over there, I'm going to multiply that by 3. So this is going to go to the Z. Uh, y is good. And finally, what for the last point, I want to assign this number times 4 to the Z, and the X would be x and y would be 0. So this is going to be a times 4. This goes here. That goes to my z. So this is part of the curve that I want to have. This looks good. This goes to my curves. I need to assign this to the last item. And I want to mirror this curve. So let's see what we have for mirror. Maybe this one. Uh, the geometry, the mirror plane, I guess it should be x, z, or y, z. We can try. Let's try x, z first. Yes, this seems about right. This is very nice. Uh, I'm going to name and group these items as my basic curve. So this is a module or curve module. I want to Copy that to cover a whole hypothetical cylinder surface. Okay, I turned the preview of all the points off. Now you see we have two curves. I actually need to combine them. Uh, there's this option to join the curves. So I'm going to go with that one, uh, this one, and this one. And basically, this is going to be, actually that's a string join, I need to go with a different join, which is this one, join curve, 
let's get rid of that node curve goes to here second curve goes to there and this is actually my real basic model now how about I rotate this item uh, first for one of the arcs on this direction and then it's gonna go on the other direction so I'm gonna go with rotate rotate is gonna be a geometry this goes to rotate uh, origin let's say if I want to have one arc which has a radius of 5 I can assign a point so I need to bring a point and for that point I want to assign maybe two and a half to the values for my y and z or x and z actually so this will go to my origin and that means that um, if I have an arc which is 5 by 5 uh, the, the middle of that arc is going to be the origin of the rotation this should be good and we have the axis uh, in this case because it's going to be on this side so it's going to be on one XZ plane the axis is the normal to XZ plane which is Y so I'm going to type Y Y goes to my axis and finally for the degrees because we have different amount of rotations I actually need to bring one uh, sequence so you see if I put like 10 degrees here assign it to degrees it's gonna rotate only once but I wanna have a lot of them so I'm gonna go with sequence let's say I want to rotate this every 5 degrees that goes to step this goes to sequence and we're gonna see what happens okay it's not bad but I need to actually change a couple of things first uh, it seems that I need to uh, have this point on the ground so Z uh, should be 0 and second for uh, the sequence I need to change this value to maybe 10 degrees or something or 15 uh, that seems more like it okay uh, there is a little bit of overlap over there a little bit of overlap is okay um, as long as it's not too much because the thickness of those curves is gonna fix that right so how about I just check this thing here for a second okay uh, you know maybe this arc is too small I wanna change the radius of that arc to 5 so uh, it's gonna have a radius of 5 and then I need to change this step size which is the amount of degrees in each case maybe I can go with 9 and then I need to increase this number maybe I should go with something like 18 or 17 so it's gonna cover uh, one whole arc maybe I can go with 20 it's more like it maybe I can make this a little bit closer by changing the degrees to 8.9 and now it seems very reasonable okay so this is all one rotation and you see we have 20 items here uh, I would like to uh, extrude this curve a little bit so I'm gonna go with extrude extrude curve that's all right how about I go with like 10 or 15 centimeters that goes there that goes there the thing here is that because I assigned sequence to the curve now I have poly curves so I have to convert poly curves to curves first and then assign this to my curve okay now you see it has a little bit of thickness I can change this to maybe 5 centimeter or something or 10 this seems good now this is a surface and I can just thicken the surface by maybe like 5 centimeters or something so you see if it's too much it's gonna look like this 
which is interesting but this is not what I was looking for so I can change the thickness to 5 or 10 centimeters only or you can go with different values you can go with 20 centimeters okay uh, so this is one row and uh, if you take a look here we have 40 items here which is just uh, too many so in order to work easier with these objects first I would like to flatten this list see what happens when I connect that to flatten okay and second uh, I would like to union this solid so it's gonna look like one only so I'm gonna go with union there is this option by union no matter how many solids you have it's gonna turn all of them into one single solid you can hide everything else that can be hidden that can be hidden that can be hidden we just need this uh, solid union okay so uh, this is one row the first row I want to group these items as row 1 solids and uh, the last step is actually very easy the last step is just to uh, actually translate this option this last union solid which is only one solid uh, using a sequence in the normal of the XZ plane which is Y so sequence goes to Y and it's going to create a number of options in that direction this is now good I just need to change uh, the step size here so maybe I can try for instance uh, actually it's going to be the same step size that we have for the width of this item which is uh, 0.25 or 0.5 we can ch double check if that goes to step size let's see what happens okay it's two inside each other maybe this is what you were looking for maybe not right this seems actually interesting already but uh, if this is what you were looking for you can just keep it you can use a code block to multiply this half a width of the first module by number two and then assign it to the step size all right so now it's gonna uh, look more like a basket or something uh, you can change the amount for instance I can go with 20 so it's gonna double the length of the whole complex you can show different prototypes by changing different values here so this could be one of my prototypes and I can just group these items as uh, the whole complex uh, the other prototype as mentioned could be changing this value here you can go with one and a half or one or maybe one was better I would better put this on manual so it's not gonna crash easily when I put a times one means that uh, it's actually the same number as a so it's the same half a width of the basic module if you're gonna go with this one maybe you can increase uh, the amount or maybe 30 should be good so it's gonna be one and a half times the length of it has right now uh, just remember that the last item is actually 30 solids because we assigned 30 over there before uh, switching to Revit importing to Revit I would suggest that again go with union by union so you're gonna have only one solid at the end and you can go with import by geometry or import by geometries to import this into Revit make sure that the units of your Revit file is set to meters so the numbers here make sense in Revit 
OK, now the run is complete. Uh, you see this is one solid. I can go with import by geometry or by geometries because this is only one. It doesn't really matter. So this is how it looks like in Revit. Uh, you can go to object styles under manage. Under imported objects, all of them are in one single layer here. I can go with like steel or wood, whatever you are considering as for the material here. We can change this to shaded and that's about it.